Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you a hair tutorial on how to get this big curls, like loose waves kind of hair. It's really not that hard. This is going to be curling it with a straightening iron. So if you're interested in seeing how to do that, then just keep watching. And make sure you check my blog for all the product links and everything. I'll have everything listed that I use and also I have lots of pictures and stuff. So if you have curly hair, you want to try to blow dry your hair as straight as possible. I just used a round brush for this and I plan on doing a tutorial on that soon. But you want to make sure that um, you spray it really good with heat protectant and then brush it through. And then I'm applying some of the HANA Shine Shield on to make it very smooth. Because the key to doing this is having very smooth hair. That way the straightener glides over it very nicely. So that's why you want to make sure it's as straight as you can get it if you have curly hair. And it's as smooth as it can get because the heat protectant can make it kind of sticky. So you want to use the Shine Shield afterwards. So since my hair is very curly at the roots, I like to kind of straighten at the roots real quick. So now you want to clamp your hair right at the top, pull the hair around it like that, and then turn your straightener down to where the hair is right at the bottom and slide it down very slowly. You don't want to do it too fast. You don't want to stop. You want to pull it all the way down without stopping. And the key to this is kind of making it curl with your finger afterwards, and that's really going to make the curl form. So let me show it again a bit slower. So what I'm going to do is clamp it right here at the roots, wrap the hair around the back side of it, Turn the straightener all the way around until you have the hair coming out the bottom and pull it slowly down. And you don't want to stop or anything and pull it all the way down without stopping. And then when you let go, kind of curl the hair the way it's supposed to go. And you'll see which way it ends up going correctly to get it to go or else it's just going to kind of sit there. So it's kind of hard to figure out exactly which one. That one didn't work out so I'm just going to go over it one more time and then it should be good. Yeah, so there we go. Now I'm just going to continue on to the back, so clamping it down. And it's kind of hard. I'm going to try it behind my head and turn the straightener downwards. Clamp it down, pull the hair around the edge, and then just pull it straight down. It depends on which way you want the curl to go. If you want the curl to go backwards, like how I am to where it curls behind your head, you can turn it pointing downward like I did it the first time. This way is going to make it curl um, inward first by holding it down. If you turn it around and do it upside down like this, then it's going to make it curl backwards, which is what I like on the sides. I like it to curl away from my face. So that's what you want to do if you want it away from your face is hold the straightener downwards as if you would like a curling iron, like when you're curling your hair or something. So that's how you're going to do it if you want it to curl away from your face on the opposite side of your head, since I am right-handed. So it just takes some practice and playing around with to see which way you want the curl to go. Um, when I do it on the opposite side of what my hand is, I have to hold it downward if I want the curl to curl away from my face. But sometimes it doesn't always work out right, so you just kind of have to play around with it and get it the way that you want it to be. So I've already done the bottom section here, and now I'm just going to move on to the top section. So for this piece around my face, I want it to curl away from my face, so I'm just going to hold it upright like this for this one and it depends on which way you want it to go or you can even turn it downward and wrap the hair up underneath the bottom of it and then turn it and pull it down and that's going to create a nice wave um, going away from my face as well it's just whatever is most comfortable with you you really just need to practice this that is the key to doing your hair this way is just practicing it and you can see doing it that way kind of made it have a very big wave right at the roots which i kind of like because it gets a, lots of volume right around my eyebrows so but if you just do it like this where you hold it upright um, you're not going to get as much of the volume, but it still looks really pretty. So just play around with the different ways, whichever way works best for you. That curl looks like it curled towards my face by doing it that way. So you just kind of have to mess around with it. Practice definitely makes perfect with doing your hair this way. I got so frustrated when I first did it because I'm like, this is not going to work on my hair. So I finally tried it again with straightening my hair first with the blow dryer and then doing it. And it was so much easier. It made the world of difference because you really need your hair to be smooth to be able to do this or else the straightener is not going to glide over it smoothly and slowly because that's the key to getting the perfect curl is just having one smooth pass down the hair and that's really going to make the nice spiral. So you really just need to practice this and it's a little bit awkward at first trying to get the angle right and get your hands right with it and everything but once you practice it a few times, maybe two or three times on your hair, you'll definitely get it down. You'll get a feel for which way you need to have the straightener pointed or which way you need to turn it and all that kind of stuff. And make sure you're turning it the full 360 degrees to where the hair is pointing downward. That is also the key with this. So you keep turning it until the hair is down towards your hand and then just pull it very slowly without stopping down your hair. So here I'm just kind of finger combing out because I'm finished. 
and I just like to kind of pull them apart with my hand to adjust them the way I want and then I'm just touching up pieces that seem like they kind of fall out, fell out um, and just going around my head and touching up the ones that are still on the top here and just kind of finger combing it through and perfecting it the way that I like it. I also have a review and a demo on this Hana flat iron. I love it, so make sure you check that out as well, and a link will be below on where you can buy it. I'm taking the back of my comb and straightening up my part, and I'm doing this because I want to make more volume around my part, so I'm just going to clamp the straightener right at the roots and turn it under. That way the hair is turned under right around my part so it looks like I have more volume, and I'm just going to do this all around the edges of my part. This straightener is really nice for this because it has a beveled edge and it's thin. So you can get right up to your roots and kind of angle it the way you want it to to make it look like you have more volume around your roots and stuff. So that is the finished look. I really love how this turns out because it's kind of like a loose wave but it still curls at the same time. You can do them as tight or as loose as you want depending on how much hair that you grab when you put it in the straightener. So I like to turn my head over and kind of shake all the curls out to really make it um, more volumized and stuff and more like piecey and just kind of finger it and get it the way that you want. Finishing off with my Hana Shine Shield again just to make it extra shiny and smooth down any flyaways and just make my hair really soft. I love this look because it lasts so much longer than curling with a curling iron and it doesn't get all frizzy and turn curly or anything because you're smoothing it out really nice with the straightener. It lasts so much longer and the curls will stay overnight and for days. If you girls enjoyed this look, make sure you practice. That's definitely going to make it perfect. It's not that hard once you get the hang of it. Be sure to send me all your pictures and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye everybody. Thank you.